Good afternoon. It's Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes. Well, today we got another house just completed here. I tell you, we appreciate y'all watching our site. If you could, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button, the thumbs up button, and if you want to have more videos, you hit the subscribe button and even the little bell to get notified. Anyway, this house we just completed. It's called the Holden. Um, we built this house a number of times. Uh, it's really cool with this one. We got those nice brick accents on the front, and you notice the shutters match their truck perfectly. Homeowner's just about to move in. Now, a few different things we did on the front here. You see, we did some cedar gable accents up on the top there. Um, actually, the customer chose them. We've got some uh, cedar shake up top. Well, actually, it's not cedar, it is concrete fiberboard that looks like cedar. Um, you see the brick accents, and you want to notice about this lot, it slopes. From back to front so it's higher up front so we kind of robbed peter to pay paul made the front higher um, built up some dirt here to have a nice flat driveway and we were able to trim the back a little bit not too much though because we put the septic system back there now this lot was very storied in trying to get a septic permit it was quite an adventure at the county they had lost all their staff so it was a little harrowing getting it off, off the ground but uh anyway we're at the happy ending portion here uh, we got two dormers up there. They did an accent color with the, uh, the hearty shake. Um, it's got a nice big garage door. Big enough for the Ford truck here. And we did a walk door. A lot nicer so you're not opening and closing the door all the time. Um, this is, they call that product, that board is called Miratech. And that's a hardy, actually it's made by Nishiha, but it's a concrete fiber board. With the gutters, ran the gutters out. Now they're going to be doing their own shrubs. And there were a few boulders in this yard. If you see the boulders up there. So we made a kind of an accent piece. It's going to be a focal point when they get all the shrubs in. Um, stairs got a little higher. So we had to put those powder coated aluminum rails. Um, see under 32 inches we don't need stairs. But this one, the way the lot worked out. Check out that little... Square window kind of gives it that craftsman look. We got a craftsman style front door. They didn't want the grids in the uh, front, so we just have a clear glass, clear glass side lights and a transom. But they do have the two bars there. And we have a tapered column, brick column with a tapered column. And what's kind of unique on this house, this neighborhood required it to be a concrete fiberboard soffit. That's not a vinyl soffit. A lot of times we'll put the vinyl soffit up there just because it's maintenance free and doesn't need to be painted. They didn't allow this, so it's got all those holes for ventilation. And of course, our signature knotty pine board. And I really like these hurricane lights on the front porch. And I got that Edison bulb. So anyway, that's the front side. Let's go take a look inside. We come to the foyer here. We've got a Craftsman wainscoting. This Craftsman style doesn't have any curves. It's kind of square in a one by eight baseboard. And look at the front dimmer switch. Got a clock in it. Cool detail. And we got a little floor mount door stop. We like these. With the front door. That's got a little magnet in there. A little bumper stop with a spring and a magnet. Mounts to the floor. I don't like the hinge stops that they put on there. I think they stress the doors. Anyway, look at those newels, those square newels. That's actually a Craftsman style newel. And they just went with a straight picket, straight road iron picket, and finished stairs that go up. Now this, this, this floor is actually uh, it's got a luxury vinyl plank. Real pretty though, but they're very high on the indestructibility, wearability factor. It's got a 20 mil wear layer in the fireplace. Now this, this client went ahead and they built their own mantelpiece. They brought it in and stained it themselves. They still got a little spot there to redo, but it's got these cedar corbels. Very cool. And even left some bark on there. Now, we set this side up so they could put in some built-in cabinets later. Didn't do that, but they put the little four inch can lights up above and in the ceiling, we've got eyeball can lights. Now this plan we changed a little bit. That used to be a dining room, kitchen. So what we did was make that dining room to like a smaller office. And made this area huge. It's got a, one dining area, but very large. Of course, our signature window seat, and she added a couple of windows here so they could get that great view of the woods out there. Should be some good wildlife to view. A nice big area for kitchen table and real roomy to get to your window seat. Now we do put storage under the window seat. 
Um, if you watch any of our videos, we get some really cool window seats that different people do different things with the colors. I think these colors go real well with the windows. And that's a big slider window right there. Um, and in the backyard, that's where the septic system had to go in the back. So that's that's what we were waiting on. Wait, look at this light fixture. That's cool for over the the breakfast room or it's kind of the main dining room, dining area. And they put a double window over there, something we don't always do, but they got this really tranquil, tranquil uh, yard here. And this is almost like an island. It's a peninsula actually, but it's almost like, almost like great big island. They got great cabinets. Look at, the, look at these drawer pulls. Actually, they, this, this one's in the same family, it's slightly different color. Look at these drawer pulls. pulls. With the crystal on there, super nice. And something they did where they got cabinets on top of cabinets. They got a two level cabinet. And this is a farm style sink, porcelain farm style sink. Single bowl, look at that lever. That's cool, that's unique. And they got the sink over on one side instead of in the center. Now you look at the backsplash, the majority of the time we put a tile backsplash. And the customer said she's got some switch plates that look just like this, so they're gonna swap those out. So those blend in a little bit, but that's a granite backsplash to match the granite countertop. Now that was pretty cool. They make sure that back wall was straight and there were no bowed studs, but they ran the granite all the way up past the hood, all the way to the ceiling. And we've got a cove crown that's a smoother, that usually goes with a craftsman motif. And we've got a granite splash over here and under cabinet lights. And all the cabinets are, you know, they're all solid wood, slow closed drawers. Double oven, they're living large. And it's a stainless range hood for a cool look. This is the pantry. If you notice, these are a Craftsman style solid core door that they wanted to go with. And no shelves in the pantry yet, but these corner pantries are very deceptively large. Nice size pantry. And this is set up for barn doors. They don't have the barn doors yet, but that's what that piece of trim and that header is. We've got a two by 10 behind the wall. And this area here is set up for like as a little bistro table, a little small kitchen table. Look at that chandelier. And it's got a little crystal to match the door poles. Right here, got a vaulted ceiling. This could always be a formal dining room, but I think they're gonna make it either an office or a relaxation room. The room for a TV mount, put up on the wall. I got USB, USB chargers here. And we get some USB chargers in the floor as well. And another cable and phone jack. So this is all set up. Now you look out here, you get a nice creek out there. But when we get a good rain, that creek turns to a river. Just amazing how that fills up. It almost flooded the basement of the neighbors. Then we get a heavy rain, that turns to a lake. Oh, oh, there's our big rock. There's our big rock in the front yard, it's focal point. Anyway, look back here, look at, look at all these lights. That's cool, it's almost got that runway effect. And I like the can lights better than the cloud fluorescence. And a lot of times we're going with pendant lights, if you see that, but these folks chose to just do the smaller four inch lights. They don't have the pendants, have that big open space so they're not obscuring your view of that really cool fireplace. Anyhow, Let's go back and check out the master suite. There's his coat closet. Coat closet there. Oh, look at this piece we made. Of course, that piece came out in the wrong size. We had to remake it just because I had to fit this custom sink. So it was sometimes that happens. Anyway, look at that cool. That, that's a really unique piece right there. It was custom made. Our good friend Ricky over at Guastella Cabinets. That's just a powder room. Got your commode over there. And it's got a window, but the window's up high for privacy. This little square craftsman window. Oh, this is this is uh we come in from the garage. Let's take a look at the garage here before the master suite. Now sometimes we'll put a bench seat here, but I think they're gonna make something themselves. And then after they move in, do something here. Garage, we still have a little mess in here from, we got, we got fluorescent lights on here. There we go. But there's the entry door and that's your oversized garage door. 
And we got two windows there, but you notice we like to sheetrock and put baseboard in all our garages whenever possible. And some extra outlets on the walls, a few over here for a freezer and whatnot. And because this was higher in the back and lower in the front and the septic system, we really couldn't cut the ground too much. We did end up with a few stairs, but this, this, this kind of goes right down to that outdoor, out, out that walk door. So it's not really, not really a showstopper. Ideally we have, you know, we, we try to minimize the stairs because that's where you come in and out of the house more often is under the stairs. We just use this space as a nice closet. Use the space cause we can. The general vacuum cleaner utility closet. And we've got a utility sink in the laundry room. It has a nice big laundry room on this plant. Nice big old laundry room. Which well, has a door into the closet. Master closet. I think that's a great feature because you can take the clothes out of the dryer and hang them right in the closet. Now into our master suite. Oh, what's going on here? Try to get the light on. Okay. There we go. They have dimmers. They have two can lights over the bed for reading. Two uh, recessed lights. Put big six foot windows in here. They get a great view. It's a real private setting here. Okay, have lots of exposure to the outdoors. So your bed's gonna go there. Once again, we get USB, USB ports in the outlets to charge their phones and look up at the lights. And now this is just a tray ceiling. It's just got one level, one level tray because that seems to be the theme that is really in fashion right now is the clean lines and you know, still have some nice things, but a little less busy as opposed to more busy. Oh, from the breakfast room and from the master, you have direct access to your screen porch. Now you notice the, the, the pine ceiling on the front porch, they stain. This one they left clear, just natural wood. Um, you've got this really great door here coming out from the great room. It's eight foot double slider, so both doors open. And then this product is called Miratech on the deck. The posts are wrapped here. Um, columns look a lot nicer with this. It does cost though, but uh, you know, it looks like wood. Paints like wood, but doesn't rot or crack or peel. Like wood will. And a real nice job. Oh, and they wanted a landing out here, so we made that out of a PVC. Now during uh, you know the pandemic, lumber has gotten real expensive. So whether you're treated lumber, you might as well go to the PVC. It used to be a big expense more, but deck lumber has gotten up so high that it's just about the same price. Now, going into the master bath, go checking out that really nice double barn door. And you can get custom barn doors, but this is just a slab to match the house. Well, let's close it up. There you are, that's the door to your master bath, but most of the time it's gonna remain open, so. That's master suite. Master Suite's got a lot to like. All right, come in. That nice tile floor. That light fixture. That is pretty nice. In the Master Suite. Looks like a lot of my clients have been getting more and more elegant in the master bath. Oh, look at that mirror. That was customer chosen mirror. It goes with the, uh, goes with the plumbing fixtures. And you get the brass drain as well. Look at that. Almost has an Egyptian feel, and that light fixture matches it real well. And linen closet. Nice to have a linen closet in the bathroom where you're using it. That matching mirror over here. And square sink. Square sink. And look at it. And crystal door, door poles as well. All right, master tub. Look at that surround. It's cool, nice glass surround. That. Kind of got that industrial look with the bolt, with that, with that hexagonal shape on there. And we've got a transom window. That window just gives you a little privacy, but you get natural light. You see the trees outside. And I like putting granite on top of this wall to match, match the rest of it. It ties it all together. Look at this shower floor. 
That is cool. It's kind of got that, you know, washed pebble look. It's got black, black and gray pebbles. Shower floor, nice square drain, square stainless drain, and kind of like this clean look. It does have an accent there, but it's all the same color, so it's not, it's not too obtrusive. And look at that, they've got timer on the fan. You can set it five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. In the fan, they call that a, a can fan. It's because it's a can light, a recessed light, and a fan combo in one. Doing more and more of those. And check it out. That's your wand shower on the slide bar, so you can adjust the height. There's your controls, and there's your niches. You got his and hers niches. Like that shower. Our friends over at the Tile Authority knocked it out of the park. Now here's, here's another thing I kind of struggle with. People, I mean you stand a shower, you run the tile seven foot tall, but just about all my clients say, I say I want to run all the way to the ceiling and it is a nicer look you know but a lot of times I want to save them the expense because it does cost per square foot but I'm really glad they did because look at that it just makes a look it wouldn't be the same if it wasn't the same height it wouldn't be special and this is just a commode room in here oh I'm turn the fan off there's the private room for the commode Anyhow, if we look out from the master, you still get all that view of, view of the woods. Got a view of the woods here. And in our master closet, of course it has the access to the laundry room right here. And I'm sure they'll be putting a real nice shelf package in there. Anyhow, so there is a lot to like here. And that shower is kind of special. I'll probably come and take a little short video of that just by itself. Anyway, that's the, the downstairs. Let's go out back and look at this patio they poured. And they were kind of on the fence about pouring this concrete, but I'm gonna think, I think they're gonna be really, really glad they did. That nice big patio. And you got a sidewalk. Walks all the way around. You see our good friends at Lake Norman Concrete Finishing did a great job pitching that away. Always worry about the drainage on these. There are, and there's our gorgeous dump trailer. Comes a point when you pour concrete, you gotta get the dumpster out of the yard. So that's our portable dumpster. There's our window seat. That is gonna be cool. And of course, a septic tank over there. But they got this Hopefully then nobody will build there for a long time and just kind of have this real pretty meadow. Meadow for a backyard. Anyway, we've covered the downstairs. There's a big slider door. It's locked, we'll go from the inside. So let's go hit the upstairs. Stairs. We've got finished oak stairs, and they do the best they can to match. Floor came out a little bit lighter, but it will darken over time. That's oak treads or the painted riser, solid oak treads. And nice stair work they did wrap in the corner. Now these stairs have a short kind of balcony up here. We're building the same house over in another neighborhood. That video will be coming out, and they actually extended the balcony all the way down here and go into the bedroom there. We actually moved the closet. We got a little more balcony action. You got a seated glass fixture there. All right here, you can see how you look down. See the mantelpiece kitchen. This is kind of cool area. It's not too big, so you don't hear everything the kids are doing. Anyway, but you got a view of the screen porch, the window seat, kitchen, fireplace. So it kind of unifies the whole room. Now when you come upstairs, you've got one bathroom. The single thing, now this is called leather. You see the texture on there? Kind of like a bumpy granite, it's a really cool look. And they went, they picked their own fixture that's just a little bit different than our standard, standard line, but still real nice. And you got your comfort height toilet with the elongated bowl and just a one piece fiberglass tub. Now, some people want to put 
we'll put a, a just just a level tub and put a tile around it makes for a real nice look but most of the time you're going to have a shower curtain over that anyway and it is the back guest room this is bedroom number two nice big dormer window there oh and this is craftsman style trim it's real it's just square one by four with a one by six top that overhangs a little bit it's kind of that more simple teeth and this is just walk-in closet And we did, they did what a lot of people are doing now, is skipping the carpet altogether. They just put this luxury vinyl plank down everywhere through the whole house. So they can put area rugs in the rooms if they want to. Now this is bedroom three. Of course, got a nice big closet. And walk-in storage for attic storage. We have made this a closet in the other house. We made this area a closet, but this is just nice storage area for Christmas decorations, etc. And if you watch any of my other videos, you know I love a full-size door to get into the attic. Those little short doors don't thrill me very much. Um, it's just a hall closet. Now, bonus room. Could function as a fourth bedroom. Now in this house, what we did is, this area was, they had debated making it a kitchenette. They may, they may make that later for, for the bonus room. It's like a mother-in-law suite. This is just more storage space. And just a nice big closet here. With somebody, somebody could potentially, if you're gonna make this a suite, put a nice bathroom in there. There's a bonus room. Now, if you watch my other videos, you know I love the dormers. I put a big dormer so this room just feels much bigger. It changes that, that kind of tunnel vision look. And look at this neighborhood. And there's Mike Palmer Homes truck. Look at this. You got all that farmland, a view of the trees. Really sweet view you get out of here. So if we didn't have this dormer, you wouldn't, you know, you'd be missing out on all that. And just one front window. So you can look at the creek that turns to a lake when it rains. Anyhow, that's a nice big bonus room with lots of closet space. And of course, we have another closet in here. So there's a closet in the room, closet on the outside of the room. But if somebody needed another bedroom or a bedroom suite with a full bath, this plan would work great because you could make bed, you know, you could just move this door out to the hallway and have all this area for mini kitchen, bathroom, what have you. Anyway, so that's the upstairs. And this is the holding plan. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll be posting a link below for a plan. Um, we do offer plans for sale if that helps some people because a lot of people watch our videos but they're from out of state and they're a little out of our range where we can build for them. So anyway, you can feel free to contact us and we really appreciate you visiting our site.